I have two goals in my seminars. I teach people how to become millionaires by buying a number of properties with low down payments. And second, I teach people how to achieve financial independence, financial freedom. I think we are not fully free in our lives until we have enough income independent of us working. So when our money works for us, when we can get, I call them wake up money, so money comes in even if you don't go to work, until we get to that point, we never have 100% freedom because we still have to wake up early in the morning and put those eight hours of work, right? You stop working, what are you going to do? Financial freedom was my goal. So I said, I, and, and through real estate, I felt that that would be easy to achieve because if you buy five properties, each one has a thousand dollar cash flow, at the end of the day, I have 5,000 a month coming in after all expenses paid. Well, that, depending on your expenses, of course, that's a lot of money. If your expenses are lowered, and you look at your lifestyle, what's important to you, and where do you really want to spend money on, then if you match those numbers, if you get money coming in that are covering all your expenses, then you're financial free. So in my seminars, I'm teaching both. I say, you don't have to wait until 65 to become, you know, when you become a millionaire, to really live the life of your dreams. I, I would like you to do it now. So backing up again, um, when I started, which is about 10 years or so ago, it was before the market crashed. Um, when I started, people came to me to help them put the portfolio together. How they came by to get that financial freedom number and how to get their million dollars together. So I started individually, but it will take me hours, hours and hours and hours. And they, you know, you don't have enough hours in the, in, in the day. So slowly I started with groups that are both Americans and Romanians. You know, I teach the seminars right now once a month in the last Saturday of the month. And uh, I always commend the people that show up. You know, like it's Saturday morning, it's 10 o'clock. You can do a lot of things. You can be sleeping, you can, but what's your commitment? Is your commitment to your financial freedom? Are you committed to do something for your family? Are you committed to really achieve your dreams? Sure, this seminar might not be what you need, but how are you going to know if you're not showing up? So I think one thing that I had going for me when I started, uh, when I came to this country was curiosity. You see, through curiosity, you can discover a lot because you're going to read books, you're going to watch YouTube videos, you're going to show up at meetings, seminars, whatever you're invited to. You're going to try to discover, you know, you'll have an open mind. Do you think uh, you are offering because you believe in, in this principles which helped you and uh, you you want to inspire others by following your example? Well, first full disclosure, what I teach is not something that realtors know. What I've learned, I didn't learn as a realtor. As I shared with you, I used to work for a property management company. I also uh, worked for a, for a little bit for a development, new development. I also have my own port portfolio. I used to do flips. I used to, you know, fix up a lot of homes and own building. I'm really committed to changing the world one person at a time. When I was little, in Romania, I grew up in communism. I had no idea that, you know, what communism is and that we can't do what we want to do or we can't go outside the, the the borders and all that, right? So I've always kind of grew up committed to, hey, you know what, I know I'm wanting 26 million, 27 million, whatever we were at that time in Romania, but I have to make a difference, right? It's like, I have to have a purpose. I wasn't put here on this earth, not, to, you know, just to pass through. So at that time, I remember thinking, oh, I have to make a big impact. And then I read this story of this old man walking on the beach and picking up starfish after a storm and throwing them back into the, like the, the storm, you know, brought the big waves and threw starfish on the beach. And this old man walks in, picks up every starfish and throws it back in the water, right? A little kid is looking at him and he's looking left and he's looking right and he says, well, the beach is full of starfish that are trying to get back to the water. So he looks at the old man and he says, why would you do that? You, you can't possibly take every starfish and throw it back in the water. And the old man said, he took a starfish. You see the starfish? Yes. He threw, threw it back in the water. He says, I might not make a difference for all the starfish on this beach, but I clearly made a difference for that starfish that I just threw in the water. So I think that to me was the point that really um, encouraged me to start my seminars uh, in the sense of a large, at the largest uh, scale, because I realized Changing the world is really not about changing the whole world. First, you change, you start with yourself, right? It's what 
what's your courage? What do you want to accomplish? How vulnerable are you willing to be? And then you start with the people you love, the people that they know you, they trust you. And then it grows from there. So to me, it was the, about making that difference for that starfish. Help somebody buy a three, four flat without explaining him all the why we're buying the four flat. How is that going to influence his life? How we are going to use, how he's going to use that money that he's going to get from their building to buy more in the future. If I don't teach him, it's, it's kind of like the parable from the Bible, right? Give somebody a fish, don't teach them how to fish. To me, I'll, it, it's more about teaching how to fish. I think I, I make a bigger impact there. And if I teach you how to buy a four, four unit building, and if you start from there and you buy your next property in the year two and the next property and the year three, and we keep doing that way, what's going to happen? You're going to start telling your sister and your mother. And you're going to, if you have children, you're going to make sure your children do the same thing. And you're going to start telling everyone because we all want not just for us to be successful. We want all the people around us to be successful. So I feel that if I teach one family, that family will teach all the people around them and their, and their generation. It's kind of set. <laughs>